9. Buried Plymouth In October 2021, a long-lost Plymouth automobile was found after almost 50 years of being buried underground. The whole time, it was in an Oklahoma backyard. The car, which was owned by a man named Tommy Thompson, is believed to have been buried in the 1970s after being stolen and stripped down for parts. The discovery was made when the current property owner decided to do some landscaping and found a section of ground that seemed sunken in. After digging around, he uncovered the top of the Plymouth's roof, poking out of the soil. He then contacted Thompson's family, who confirmed the car was indeed the one that had been stolen from their father's auto repair shop years ago. The vehicle was eventually excavated from the ground and cleaned, revealing a surprisingly well-preserved car. While the exterior was rusty and the interior was filled with dirt, the car's engine was still intact and seemed to be in working order. The discovery of the Plymouth has sparked interest from car enthusiasts and historians, who see the car as a time capsule of sorts, offering a glimpse into the automotive culture of the 1970s. The car has also become a symbol of resilience, with many impressed that it survived decades underground only to be rediscovered and restored back to its former glory. 8. Death Tunnel The Winterberg Tunnel was a German underground shelter located on the Chemin des Dames battlefront during World War I. It was built back in 1916 to protect soldiers from attacks. The tunnel was about 300 meters long and had two entrances, one on each side of a hill. On 4th May 1917, the French launched a massive offensive against German positions. They bombarded the Winterberg Tunnel with heavy shells, causing both entrances to collapse, trapping over 270 German soldiers inside. The soldiers suffocated as they ran out of oxygen and were poisoned by carbon monoxide. The tunnel remained hidden for more than a century until it was rediscovered by Elaine and Pierre Malinowski, a father and son team of amateur historians. They spent about 15 years searching for the tunnel, using old maps, aerial photos, and metal detectors. They finally found it in March 2021 and exposed its entrance with a bulldozer. The Winterberg Tunnel discovery is one of the most important archaeological finds from World War I in France. It reveals a tragic story of war and death that's been forgotten for decades. The Malinowskis hope to honor the memory of fallen soldiers by finding their relatives and giving them a proper burial. 7. Massive Galaxies The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, launched back in December 2022 and has made a stunning discovery that challenges our current understanding of galaxy formation. It has located six massive galaxies that existed when the universe was less than a billion years old. These galaxies are roughly the size of our own Milky Way galaxy, which contains hundreds of billions of stars itself. The newly discovered galaxies formed much faster than expected, within 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang that we once thought created the universe. According to theorists, galaxies grow gradually over time by merging with smaller ones. But these ancient star systems seem to have reached their enormous sizes very quickly. How did they do it? One possible explanation is that they were fueled by a large amount of gas in their surroundings, which allowed them to form stars at a faster rate. Another possibility is that they were influenced by dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up most of the universe but does not emit light. The JWS team hopes to find more clues by observing these star systems in more detail and looking for more examples of them. The JWST is specifically designed to observe infrared light, which can penetrate dust and gases that block visible light. This makes it ideal for studying extremely distant objects like these galaxies, whose light has been stretched by the vast expansion of space. The discovery of these massive star systems opens up new questions about how our universe evolved and what else might be out there. It really shows us how small we are and how much we still don't know. 6. Woolly Rhino Remains Woolly rhinos were large mammals that lived during the Pleistocene Epoch, or more popularly, the Ice Age. They had thick fur, two horns on their nose, and a big hump on their back. They adapted to cold climates and grazed in grassy areas. 
In recent years, remains of woolly rhinos have been found in different parts of England. These discoveries shed light on the diversity of these extinct animals. One of the creatures was found by lead miners in 1822 in the Dream Cave in Worksworth, Derbyshire. They found an almost complete skeleton of a woolly rhino that would have been about 11.5 feet long and lived 43,000 years ago. The skeleton was studied and preserved at Oxford University for nearly two centuries before returning to the site in 2021. Another discovery was made by highway workers in 2018 near Cambridge. They found the bones of both a woolly mammoth and a woolly rhino that were about 130,000 years old. A third discovery was made in 2022 during the construction of a new town called Sherford. They found bones of several Ice Age mammals, including a woolly mammoth, a woolly rhino, a hyena, a wolf, a horse, an elk, and more. These remains revealed that Sherford was once a rich habitat for a variety of species during the last glacial period. These discoveries show us how diverse and widespread woolly rhinos were in England during the Ice Age. They also help us understand how these creatures lived died and interacted with other species and ancient humans. 5. Evidence of Brain Surgery Archaeologists have discovered a case of ancient brain surgery in Megiddo, Israel. The patient was a man who lived around 3000 BC. He suffered from a severe infection that caused his skull to swell up. The researchers believe the man underwent a procedure called trephination which involves drilling a hole into the skull to relieve pressure or remove diseased tissue. This is the earliest example of this type of procedure in the ancient Near East and one of the oldest in mankind's history. The surgery was performed with a sharp flint tool that left a small circular opening on the left side of his forehead. The bone around the hole showed signs of healing, indicating that he survived the operation and lived afterwards. The researchers think the procedure may have been done by a skilled healer who had knowledge of anatomy and infection control. They also suggest that the man may have been an important member of his community who received special care. The discovery sheds new light on the medical practices of ancient people living in Megiddo, a strategic site that saw many battles and cultural exchanges over thousands of years. Aren't you glad we have better medical technology nowadays? Tell us what you thought of that last discovery down in the comments. If you liked the video so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel. 4. New Species of Ancient Human In September 2019, scientists discovered a new species of ancient humans called Homo luzonensis in the Philippines. The find is significant since it provides new insights into the evolution of mankind and suggest that our species was not the only type of human to inhabit Southeast Asia years ago. The discovery of Homo luzonensis was made possible by the excavation of an island cave on Luzon, where the fossils of at least two adults and one juvenile were uncovered. The fossils date back 50,000 to 67,000 years ago and show a mix of primitive and advanced features, including small teeth, curved fingers and toes, and leg bones, that suggests the species was well-suited for climbing. Since the discovery, debates have sparked over the origins of humans and the routes that ancient people took as they migrated across the globe. Some scientists believe the new species is a descendant of Homo erectus, an early hominid that lived in Asia. Others suggest it may be related to the mysterious Denisovans, a group of ancient humans that lived in Siberia and interbred with humans in Asia and Oceania. Overall, the discovery of Homo luzonensis highlights the complexity of human evolution and the importance of continued research. It also underscores the need for the preservation and the responsible excavation and analysis of fossils, which can provide important clues to our past and help us to understand our current place in the world. 3. Venomous Snake In 2021, a new species of venomous snake was spotted in India. The snake was found in the forested mountains of Arunachal Pradesh, a remote northeastern Indian state bordering China. A team of herpetologists from the Wildlife Institute of India were conducting a survey of reptiles in the region. The snake's about three feet long and has a unique green coloration and distinctive white stripe. The researchers believe 
The snake is highly venomous, based on its close resemblance to other members of the Trimeraceros genus. But more research is needed to determine the exact composition of its venom and its potential toxicity. This new snake species underscores the importance of continued efforts to survey and document biodiversity in India's remote regions. The country is home to a diverse range of snake species, many of which have not been formally identified or studied yet. As humans continue to encroach upon wild habitats, it's increasingly important to identify and protect vulnerable species. The researchers hope this discovery will encourage further exploration and conservation efforts in this biodiverse region. 2. Ancient Artwork In October 2022, archaeologists discovered Assyrian reliefs at a site in northern Iraq that was destroyed by ISIS. Reliefs are 3D elements typically carved into stone slabs. The ones found were part of a palatial gate at Nineveh, the capital of the Neo-Assyrian Empire. They show the military campaigns of King Sennacherib, one of the empire's most famous leaders. The reliefs are revolutionary works of art because they have a distinct level of realism and detail in depicting landscapes, animals, and emotions. They're also valuable sources of historical information. The reliefs were part of a wider decorative scheme that included wall paintings and glazed bricks. They were first used extensively by King Ashurnasirpal II at Kalu, Nimrud, and later by his successors at Khorsabad and Nineveh. Some of the reliefs show a procession of Assyrian gods, like Assur and Mulisu, standing on lions, dragons, and other powerful creatures. Others show scenes of battles, sieges, hunting, tribute-bearing, and royal ceremonies. The discovery is remarkable since it's the first major find of Assyrian art in Iraq since the 1800s. It was made in an area that was heavily damaged by ISIS during their 2014-2017 occupation. Archaeologists hope to restore and preserve the reliefs for future generations. 1. Women in Power The Bronze Age was a period of human history that lasted from 3000 BC to 1200 BC. During this time, people learned how to make tools and weapons from bronze. The time period also saw the rise of complex civilizations and societies around the world. One of these regions was southeastern Spain, where archaeologists have recently found evidence that women may have held the majority of political power in a society called El Argar. El Argar was one of the first state-like civilizations in Europe, with hierarchical social structure and urban settlements. It existed from 2200 BC to 1550 BC. In 2014, archaeologists excavated a tomb at an ancient site called La Almoloya, which was part of El Argar. The tomb contained the remains of two individuals, a man and a woman. They were buried with expensive goods, including silver ornaments, ceramic vessels, weapons, and tools. The woman wore a silver headpiece, which was a symbol of authority and prestige. The archaeologists analyzed the tomb and its contents using radiocarbon dating, isotopic analysis, and spatial analysis. They concluded the woman was probably an elite member of Al Agar who had political power. She may have been a ruler or a leader who governed La Almoloya with her male partner. The discovery challenges the assumption that power in ancient societies was almost exclusively a product of male dominance. The hint of women's power during the Bronze Age reveals a new dimension of human history that deserves more recognition. Thanks for watching. Have you heard of these discoveries before? If you know anything else, tell us in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to see future uploads.